The Blue Nile, a river older than time, a source of life. It flows from the heart of Ethiopia, carrying with it the hopes and dreams of a nation. Ethiopia, a land of ancient history and vibrant culture, has long grappled with the challenges of poverty and energy scarcity. Yet, amidst these struggles, a bold vision emerged. A vision to harness the untamed power of the Blue Nile. A vision embodied in the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, or GERD. The GERD, upon its completion, is poised to be the largest hydroelectric power plant in Africa. Its impact will be profound, touching every aspect of Ethiopian life. But the journey to this point has been arduous, marked by both triumphs and tribulations. The story of the GERD is not just about concrete and steel. It is a testament to human resilience, ingenuity, and the unwavering pursuit of progress. The idea of damming the Blue Nile was not new. For decades it lingered in the minds of Ethiopian leaders. They understood the river's potential. It wasn't just about electricity, it was about transforming Ethiopia's destiny. In 2011, the dream began to solidify. The Ethiopian government, under the leadership of the late Prime Minister Meles Zenawi, made a bold announcement. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam would be built. The announcement was met with a mix of excitement and apprehension. Excitement at the prospect of energy independence, of industries humming and homes illuminated, apprehension at the sheer scale of the project and the diplomatic tightrope walk it entailed. The Ethiopian government knew this was a monumental task, one that would require not just resources but also careful negotiation and diplomacy. It was a moment of both great promise and significant challenge. The year 2011 wasn't just about pronouncements, it was about action. With a resolute spirit, Ethiopia broke ground on the GERD project. This was a monumental undertaking, requiring expertise and manpower on an unprecedented scale. Thousands of workers, Ethiopian and international, descended upon the remote site in the Benishangul Gumus region. The air buzzed with activity. The roar of machinery echoed through the valleys as earth was moved and foundations laid. The early years were all about laying the groundwork, literally and figuratively. Contracts were signed with international firms, each bringing their specialized knowledge to the table. Materials, from massive turbines to high-grade cement, began arriving from all corners of the globe, a testament to the project's global significance. It was a time of immense effort and collaboration, a true convergence of human capability. The early construction phase set the stage for what was to come establishing a solid foundation for the ambitious structure that would rise above the Blue Nile. Building a dam of this magnitude, however, is no walk in the park. It's a high-stakes endeavor fraught with challenges that test the limits of human ingenuity and resolve. One of the biggest hurdles was funding. The estimated cost of the GERD ran into billions of dollars, a hefty sum for a developing nation like Ethiopia. The government implemented a multi-pronged financing strategy relying heavily on domestic sources. Bonds were issued to the public, tapping into a wellspring of national pride. Political complexities added another layer of difficulty. Egypt, heavily reliant on the Nile for its water supply, voiced concerns over the dam's potential impact on its water share. Negotiations between Ethiopia, Egypt and Sudan, the three nations most directly affected by the Nile, became a recurring theme, often marked by periods of tension and uncertainty. It was a delicate balance, navigating both financial and political landscapes to ensure the project's progress. Despite these hurdles, the determination to see the GERD through remained unwavering, driven by a vision of a brighter, more self-sufficient future for Ethiopia. Section 5 Nature's Test, Environmental Concerns and Mitigation Efforts. Building a dam, even one intended for good, inevitably alters the natural environment. Concerns were raised about the GERD's potential impact on the Nile ecosystem. The dam's reservoir would inundate a vast area, potentially affecting biodiversity and displacing communities. Ethiopia, acutely aware of these concerns, implemented a range of environmental mitigation measures. Environmental impact assessments were conducted to study potential risks and devise mitigation strategies. Fish ladders were incorporated into the dam's design to facilitate fish migration. 
afforestation programs were launched to offset deforestation in the reservoir's vicinity. The GERD became a testing ground for balancing development with environmental stewardship. Section 6. Engineering Marvel. Dam Design and Technological Advancements. At the heart of the GERD project lies a marvel of engineering. The dam, a roller compacted concrete RCC gravity structure, stands as a testament to human ingenuity. Its design, a product of meticulous planning and collaboration between Ethiopian and international engineers, incorporates cutting edge technologies. The dam's two powerhouses, located on either side of the river, will house a total of 16 turbine generators, each capable of producing an astounding amount of electricity. The selection of RCC technology was a strategic one. RCC, known for its strength, durability, and speed of construction, proved ideal for the GERD's challenging site conditions. The dam's design also incorporated state-of-the-art instrumentation and monitoring systems to ensure its structural integrity and operational efficiency. Section 7. Powering a nation, GERD's impact on Ethiopia's energy landscape. The primary objective of the GERD is to generate electricity, a lot of it, with an installed generating capacity of over 5,000 megawatts. The dam has the potential to more than double Ethiopia's current electricity generation capacity. This surge in power generation will be transformative for the nation. Imagine a future where Ethiopian industries, no longer constrained by power shortages, can operate at full capacity, creating jobs and boosting the economy. Imagine rural communities lit up, connected to the grid, and empowered to pursue new opportunities. The GERD is not just about infrastructure, it's about human potential. The GERD is set to redefine Ethiopia's energy landscape, bringing light and power to millions. Section 8. From arid land to fertile fields, agricultural transformation. The GERD's impact extends beyond electricity generation. Its reservoir, with a storage capacity of over 70 billion cubic meters, will create new opportunities for irrigation, transforming agriculture in Ethiopia. Water, once a scarce and precious resource, will become readily available, allowing farmers to irrigate their land throughout the year. This shift from rain-fed agriculture to irrigation will have a profound impact on food security, not just in Ethiopia, but potentially in the entire Horn of Africa. Imagine a future where Ethiopia, once a recipient of food aid, becomes a breadbasket for the region, exporting its surplus to its neighbors. Section 9 Regional Dynamics GERD's Influence on Nile Politics the GERD, while a national project for Ethiopia, has inevitably become a regional issue. The Nile River, after all, doesn't recognize political boundaries. Its waters flow through 11 countries, each with its own needs and priorities. The GERD's construction has brought to the fore the long-standing tensions over the Nile's waters. Egypt, in particular, has expressed concerns about the potential impact of the dam on its water share. Ethiopia, however, has consistently maintained that the GERD is not designed to harm downstream countries. It argues that the dam will actually benefit its neighbors by regulating the Nile's flow, reducing the risk of both floods and droughts. The GERD has become a catalyst for dialogue and cooperation in the Nile Basin. It has forced countries to confront long-standing issues and seek common ground. Section 10. Challenges on the horizon, water sharing and cooperation. The completion of the GERD will mark a major milestone, but it will also usher in a new set of challenges. The most pressing of these will be the management of the dam's reservoir and the sharing of the Nile's waters during times of drought. A fair and equitable agreement between Ethiopia, Egypt and Sudan will be crucial to ensure the long-term sustainability of the Nile Basin. Technical negotiations will be needed to determine the optimal filling and operation schedule for the GERD's reservoir. Data sharing and joint monitoring mechanisms will be essential to build trust and ensure transparency. The GERD presents an opportunity for the Nile Basin countries to move beyond historical grievances and forge a new era of cooperation. Section 11. A legacy for generations, GERD and Ethiopia's future. 
The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam stands as a symbol of Ethiopia's aspirations. It represents the country's determination to overcome adversity, harness its natural resources, and chart its own course towards a brighter future. The dam's legacy will be multifaceted, impacting generations to come. It will be a legacy of energy independence, economic growth, and improved livelihoods. It will be a legacy of technological advancement, environmental stewardship, and regional cooperation. The GERD is not just a dam, it is a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Ethiopian people. Don't you just love how focused and committed the Ethiopian nation are? Today, Ethiopia is one of the fastest growing nation in the world, with new and massive projects being completed regularly. Trust me, in less than 10 years, Ethiopia will be the Dubai of Africa. Thanks for watching. Please support this channel by clicking the subscribe button, like, and also share thanks.